this is the start of our stew peas I have one and a half cup of red beans red kidney beans about three four cups of water and two big garlic cloves I mean really big um, garlic cloves and I'll be cooking this down until it is soft so and I'll keep coming back and topping up the water until it is soft and ready to continue to cook okay uh, this is about an hour and a half into the cook and uh, what I didn't say before in the last clip is that I added about a half pound of beef and um, a half pound or two uh, medium sized pieces of pig's, pig's tail which I chopped up and added to the um, to the pot now this pig tail was not really salty so I didn't have to boil it um, a couple of times but typically you have to um, boil your pig's tail uh, two or three times to get out most of the salt and then you can add it to your pot but this one is not that salty so I just scalded it one time and put it into the pot so this is about an hour and a half and the peas are starting to break up but not quite where I want it to be so and I've been adding water as I go along to keep the liquid um, at a certain height so we have a maybe another um, half hour to go when we can start to finishing up our stew peas okay now our peas is um, really soft and our sauce is thin but it's going to cook down once we add the seasonings and um, our spinners and everything to it so let's add I'm going to add green onions some white onions about half of that a couple of sprigs of thyme um, uh, habanero pepper which I've pierced and some pimento berries and then to that I'm going to also add some half teaspoon of black pepper all-purpose seasoning garlic powder and onion powder let me turn this up to high just to bring it back up to a boil I had it at uh, medium so all this time it has been cooking at medium heat so I'm adding all this stuff and I want to bring it up back to the boil I'm going to add, I have a teaspoon of the coconut powder. I just dissolve it in some water. I'm going to add that. I don't want a lot in it today. I don't feel like a lot of coconut milk. But I want something, something in there. Okay, and I make some, a small amount of dough for my spinners. So you just roll it in your hand and drop them in. It's just uh, flour, salt, and water. And I did like half a cup of flour. And you start with a small amount of water until you get your dough together. It's not sticky and it's not dry I tasted it and it tasted fine don't need any salt so just the season that you saw me put in that's what's in here so now I'm going to cover it 
and let it cook down for another 15, 20 minutes. And I've turned my flame down to medium or six. Be back. Okay, here we are. It is ready. Now keep in mind that it's going to continue to thicken. So you don't want to carry it down too far. You still want it to be fluid, but even though you take it off the heat, it's going to continue to thicken. That's part of what the peas does. Okay, so it's time to take it off. Okay, now here is our stew peas with some beef and pig stale. Have it served here with some white rice and um, some fried plantains. Well, thank you for watching. Try the recipe, let me know, leave me a comment. Remember to like this video. The more you like it, the more um, YouTube will pass it around. And of course, remember to subscribe to the channel. And I thank you so much for hanging in there with me. Let me know if you try it. And also, have pepper in there. Let me know how, how much pepper you like in your food. Or if you don't like it at all. Until we meet again, God bless and walk good.